Congratulations, Great Britain. This is a great day for you. As a, if you're a British citizen, this is a great day for you, at least to a certain degree. You know, the future, you still have lots of potential left. There's still lots of different things you can do to create even more sovereignty, especially individual sovereignty, but this was your first step along that path. Today is the day that uh, Theresa May has handed off the letter to the EU, right? Filing the divorce papers, <laughs> right? Triggering Article 50, which is triggering those at the European Union because they realize, I mean, they can talk all the smack they want, but in reality, United Kingdom is a pretty powerful force economically and socially, not just in the European uh, continent or, well, just off the European continent, but in the entire world, right? So, now, this divorce, now, hopefully it'll be, be somewhat amicable, right? So, you know, not too many hard feelings, right? Trying to, as long as it's not so sour and divisive that each each side, right, of the divorce proceedings is looking to impose hardships or pain on each other, which, as we recognize in a lot of divorces, that does happen. But because in this uh, modern world, we recognize that, even if you try to cause harm on other people, well, it can come back and bite you in the ass too. So hopefully there'll be common senses or common sense and people that are economically astute will prevail. Hopefully. If not, well, I guess we'll see how that plays out in the end. But once again, congratulations to the people of the, the UK who stood firmly, who stood strong and supported people like Nigel Farage from the UK. United Kingdom Independence Party and has pushed his 25 year quest to take the United Kingdom out of this full on collective um, that they called the European Union where you have complete bureaucracy and powers coming from foreign countries that get to dictate and, and mandate how the people live in the United Kingdom, right? I mean, to go from a, a you know, not saying that colonialism was good in any way, shape, or form. Obviously, I'm not defending colonialism. But to go from being the most dominant colonial power in modern history to having to put your people to be subjects and servants to a ruling elite that don't even reside in their own country. Yeah, that was, that was a path that you should have known immediately and instinctively. That was a very, very dumb idea. Now, the good thing, there's actually going to be another beneficial consequence and result of this Brexit is hopefully, well, I'm hoping now, but the the people from the Scottish side of things, right? The Scottish Parliament, you got them now wanting to push for another referendum, which, hey, great. Matter of fact, I will support you too. If you're Scottish and you want to become independent and a, a sovereign nation, once again, hopefully we can keep pushing this out and expand it to the point where Every individual is a sovereign because ultimately that's what individual freedom is all about is sovereignty for all right down to the individual. So let's just keep expanding this out. This ain't a bad thing. This is a great thing. Accept it. Embrace it. Rejoice and celebrate sovereignty. Sovereignty is very important. The more collectivized, the more centrally planned people are, you know, the further removed your central planners are from the realities on the ground. So yes, Everything should be brought back. If you're going to have any kind of governance at all, which I think like I say, having central planners control for each, dictate and dominate, dominate your life and have the power and the ability to force wealth redistribution and all that stuff, that's a bad idea. But like I say, if you can keep that, the closer you keep your enemies or those who would try to impose your, their, their preferences or opinions or ideologies or the edicts on you, the closer you can keep them to you, right? The much easier it is for you to hold them to account. Or at least for to go up and walk and walk up to them and say, hey, what's up with that? That's really what it comes down to. So good for you, people of the UK. Good for you, Theresa May. Great for you, Nigel Farage. All your hard work and efforts has at least paid off up until and to this point, right? You have helped you people of the United K not just uh, create more sovereignty for themselves, but to help them psychologically, right? Because then, like I say, that can expand out even further than just a matter of divorcing yourself from the European Union. And like they're saying, it's not like you're going to try to deny or negate trade. Of course, the people of the UK 
are going to want to trade and have agreements with countries from all over the world. It's, but it'll be a matter of, yeah, you get to negotiate yourself without some arbitrary or third-party arbiter where, where it gets to dictate and dominate and tell you how to live, right? Like I said, sovereignty, when we've achieved that for the seven plus billion people on the world, or when we do, maybe it's eight or nine billion, but sovereignty is always a good thing. And anyone that would suggest to you otherwise, like I say, these are the central planner types or the control freak types that don't care about you in any way, shape, or form, no matter what kind of narrative, what kind of bullshit information they put forth or present to you, or you know, tell you how much wealthier or richer you'll be. Well, if it means they got to steal from other people to, to benefit you, to get you your riches, well, right right away, you should instinctively know. Reject that very pretense, that very premise. It's Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.